SafeMoon could be very, very close to having global tokenomics. If you don't know what global tokenomics is, we're going to get into that in just a moment. We'll also explain why it does have to do with this post from Mandala. And if you look very closely, there's something going on with that little set of underscores, that blank you got to fill in there. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. So we're looking at the official Mandala Exchange. For those of you guys that are not aware, SafeMoon is tradable over there. However, on their platform, you don't have places such as the United States where users can go on and be able to trade. Volume has been either non-existent on some days or it's been extremely low on others. They were running a big campaign leading up to the hype, uh, well, building off of the hype leading up to when they were gonna launch SafeMoon. This was a, clo par a close partnership with SafeMoon, and the idea was it was gonna launch with global tokenomics. So SafeMoon reflects in SafeMoon. This is dependent upon trading volume. But as it has been so far, that trading volume, the reflections, it's all native to its own platform. So if you were going to be trading SafeMoon on the SafeMoon swap, that's where you would get your reflections is dependent upon other people trading SafeMoon on the SafeMoon swap. Whereas if it's over on BitMart, for example, the reflections that they get is because of what they did over there. It doesn't communicate together. So it's important that we develop global tokenomics, the ability to have reflections and volume that's being evaluated across the board. And Mandala was aiming to be the first launch for this, which could very well open up the doorway for other exchanges to do it, as well as other tokens to even come in and possibly do it. Things hit a snag, it didn't go according to plan, and it's been delayed. And it's been delayed for quite a few months now. Everyone's been sitting idly by, waiting for SafeMoon to deliver products, waiting for Mandala to also step up with this too. So keep in mind that the development team that's been working on this feature, the global tokenomics for Mandala, it's coming from Binance's team. So essentially Mandala is a subsidiary of Binance. Many people have theorized that once global tokenomics has been rolled out for Mandala, we could end up seeing SafeMoon get listed on Binance Exchange. It's not a guarantee, but it is a real possibility because Binance at that point would have the technology to be able to apply this with SafeMoon and it very well could have a huge amount of trading volume activity, not just for SafeMoon, but for that of Binance itself. So now let's go ahead and focus on the tweet here. It says, hey, SafeMoon Army, complete the sentence. SafeMoon is blank. If you look very closely, there is this blank, but it's separated out. There's one, two, three, four, five spaces. So in the instance, if you're uh, treating this such as like a hangman and you're going to associate a letter with each one, I've seen numerous people make this remark now. We believe pretty heavily that it is SafeMoon is ready, R-E-A-D-Y. This would make sense given the circumstances of everything that's going on. If Mandala is just doing this just to have people throw out whatever they want just for the sake of it, um, kind of awkward timing, but it's not like it's going to hurt their trading volume when it's either there is no trading volume or it's very little, like I was mentioning earlier. So people are getting hyped up with SafeMoon. There's a digital product that is coming around the corner very soon. Maybe the Glow Talks. Um, would you guys consider global tokenomics being a digital product? I was thinking more along the lines of the SafeMoon card because uh, that card does have a, an augmented re reality-based version that's dealing with the metaverse that we're supposed to be able to have access to first, that virtual reality card, I should say. So I think that that could be the digital product that we see right around the corner, either that or SafeMoon Connect, or possibly both. But I'm leaning much more heavily right now towards the uh, SafeMoon card. Let us know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Would be very curious to get your opinions on this. And a special 
a uh, shout out thank you to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to we love safeman.com or at Shaker, Victor Vegas, Safeman Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, thank you to my YouTube members for your guys' support. Greatly appreciated. Again, I am not a financial advisor. Please go do your own research. We're very close to 20,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless. We will see you in the next episode.